Shallow graves configured in a perfect line. This is the once tranquil cemetery of Teresopolis. It's now more like a mass grave. And under steady rainfall, the grave diggers simply can't dig fast enough. The victims are being wheeled to the cemetery. Almost every 15 minutes or so, a new coffin arrives, one after another. There are no fancy ceremonies, just a few precious seconds for families to say goodbye. Some take it upon themselves to offer their relatives a final prayer. This man lost four sons when a flash flood washed away his house. Today he laid one son to rest. The bodies of the other three have not yet been recovered. Before most family members can even leave, men are already furiously covering the coffin with dirt, getting ready for the next. A backhoe helps to speed up the process. These are funerals by assembly line, where there is little concern about names. There are so many caskets with victims arriving here at the cemetery, there's literally no time to do a proper burial for many people. So they're literally just putting a wooden stake in the ground and labeling them with a number. This person is number 179. They expect to bury over 300 people here, but there is no more space. So a judge is given permission to excavate old grave sites to make way for new bodies. Floodlights have been installed so the victims can be buried around the clock. This is the new reality here. For family members, a final unjust torment. Gabriel Elizondo, Al Jazeera, Teresopolis, Brazil.